Pretty nice day out there. A few little issues. One of those issues will be cloud cover that just doesn't seem to go away. We'll get a few peaks of blue sky here and there. Maybe you'll get some sunshine if you're lucky. Hopefully the moms will get to see some sun, but not nearly as bright and sunny as it was yesterday. Temperatures will be warmer than they were yesterday, though. Temperatures getting into the upper 70s in the triad and in the foothills. The mountains, the upper 60s. We have a 20% chance of seeing some evening showers today in the mountains. It's ahead of a system that will mostly impact us tomorrow. In fact, it's an impact day tomorrow because of that system moving through the area. Cold front passing by. So we'll see a lot of clouds and also some wind gusting up to 30 miles an hour in the triad and in the foothills. Warm and gusty throughout the afternoon. Mixture of clouds and sun as we take a look at the foothills again that cloud cover and maybe some late evening showers. We're thinking about 8 9 p.m. in the foothills in the mountains though seeing those showers earlier winds also gusting up to 40 miles an hour. That's just below wind advisory criteria. Our Friday wind advisory bill was because of winds gusting up to 45 miles an hour. So of course we saw some damage there. I recommend that you take this 40 mile an hour wind gust like it almost is a wind advisory. Make sure that you are securing all of your outdoor items and just prepared for those very strong winds. Maybe that means that you have to plan lunch with mom in the early part of the day. Maybe breakfast or brunch would be better. 62 degrees at noon, 68 at 3 p.m. in the mountains. As we go through the next few hours again, that mixture of cloud and sun here and there as we get into the later part of the day. You saw those showers kicking off in the mountains early. By 11:15, some of that rain could make its way down to the triad here. Few showers, light rain for the most part, maybe some moderate downpours, and that's about the whole story. As we go through the overnight hours, we continue to see that light, those light showers to our south, potentially some thunderstorms and maybe Ashboro hearing the rumble of thunder as you're trying to sleep tonight. As we'll continue on through the next few hours after that, though, some thunderstorms in the morning, and then this is what I'm actually concerned about here. 2:30. PM. We have a line moving through the area that has these little bubbles that you see on our hour by hour forecast. To me, this indicates that some of these storms could be strong to severe. That's why we have that severe weather outlook for tomorrow. It continues throughout the entirety of the afternoon. 445 tomorrow. We're still dealing with it. We continue dealing with it until we get into the evening hours and then it even stays in our south after that point. So again, Ashboro is still in the thick of it at that point, likely. So we'll watch as that finally starts to calm down, but for Monday we are under a marginal risk of severe weather throughout the Piedmont and the foothills as well. The mountains and uh, western side of the foothills just seeing thunderstorms throughout the day. Our biggest risks will be large hail, damaging wind and heavy rain. Tornadoes not a part of our story at this point for tomorrow, but of course any strong to severe thunderstorm will be watching for those indications of rotation. You'll want to stay weather aware tomorrow for sure. Here's a look at your seven day forecast that impact day on Monday as we head through Tuesday. Beautiful weather. Rain returns on Wednesday and then we have another impact day on Thursday. Much cooler temperatures as well as we head towards that weekend, but then looking pretty nice by the time we get there.